brought in the last package of earth to weight his trousers. Oh, vertigo. <laughs> oh, I will all these trousers out. Do not look down. I was not going to. I was talking to my husband. <laughs> and good luck. Now, you know what to do? Yes, I am to commandeer Lieutenant Gruber's little tank, squash the barbed wire fence, and get you out. Good. Get on the plank. Yes. One, two, three. Colonel, um... Where does Lieutenant Gruber keep the keys to his little tank? What are you playing at down there? Sorry. Get on the board. I am ready. One, two, three. <laughs> we need a stronger plank. Good thinking. And two pairs of braces. Can we not go perhaps a little faster? I will dingle a carrot in front of the dinky. <laughs> that is butter. We shall be there very shortly. <laughs> Goodbye, Hans. Goodbye, Colonel. Excuse me. Would you mind hurrying up? His nerve is going. It went half an hour ago. <laughs> One, two, three. Well done. The resistance will not forget the bravery of René Atois. Um. Excuse me. How do I get over the fire from here? There are the gates. You, as a sister of mercy, will enter the camp to distribute religious pamphlets. But what if the guard should recognize me? I know quite a few soldiers. So I will distract him. Once inside the camp, you must find the colonel to tell him our plan. Wait here a moment while I commence the distraction. Bless you, my child. <laughs> I think we've got the angle right this time. Hans, when you go, throw yourself back like this. Oh, you, you do it so well, Colonel. You go. <laughs> no, Hans, you're getting the hang of it very well. <laughs> One, two, three. No, no, no. I am sorry. I have had enough. I am not jumping. Da! <laughs> <laughs> Jolly good show. One down, 249 to go. The plan is as follows. I will commandeer the French refuse collecting vehicle. I will drive the vehicle into the camp. I will be in disguise. The side of the vehicle will open and you will all jump in. <laughs> You will pardon my asking, but will not your guards be suspicious to see a rubbish cart driven by a nun? I will be disguised as a rough French rubbish cart driver. This is very good of you, Gruber. Well, we both have an interest in certain paintings, which we will sell off. <laughs> and besides, the cafe is not the same without René behind the bar. You're looking very pale, René. <laughs> Are you getting enough to eat? The food is disgusting. They treat us like pigs. <laughs> what if Hans carries out your orders, steals Lieutenant Gruber's little tank and comes charging into the camp and we are not here? He can charge out again. <laughs> Tell him to cancel his plan. And listen to me, all of you. I want it clearly understood. When we get out of here, we are the conquerors. <laughs> and you are the enemy. 
And he was promised to stop helping British airmen to escape. Yes, of, of course, Colonel. And in the meantime, Colonel, remember, I have a gun. If you give us away, you will be shot. I take your point. <laughs> I must go. Vespers, you know. <laughs> be ready by the rubbish bins at 8 o'clock. I will arrange with the British commander to create a diversion. Heil Hitler. Hail Mary. <laughs> <laughs> the driver of that crane look familiar to you? It is my mother! Why is she delivering a drain pipe? Patient. Soon she will reveal all. Perish the thought. Idiot. I have come to help you to escoop. You are going to get us all shot. You can escoop by climbing into the drone poop. <laughs> the poop will then be lofted in the air, swung over the weir, and then dripped on the other sod. <laughs> Point one, there is no room for the two of us inside the poop. Point two, we already have a plan to escape. You mean to escoop? Do not tell me how to speak my own language. Now stuff yourself inside that drain pipe and go. Well, you have made your bid. Now you can ruin it. <laughs> oh, Rene! Oh, at last we are alone. All oh. of me tight. Oh, oh. oh Rene. Oh, Rene, it is so long. <laughs> Sorry, where were we? It is so long since you held me like this. Oh, oh just the feel of your strong body through my silken blouse oh. makes my knees tremble. <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> when are you going to tell your wife you are leaving her? Oh, uh, soon, Yvette. S soon. Well, why not this morning? Well, it, it is very complicated, Yvette. You must remember that I have been shot dead and I am now posing as my own twin brother. <laughs> my will left this cafe to Edith. And so, if I am going to get my hands back on it, I am going to have to do it by marrying her again and then telling her that I am leaving her to marry you. <laughs> so, you see, this morning is not a good time. <laughs> Tell me there is nobody else. There is nobody else. Uh, I feel better now. Oh, Yvette, dear sweet emotional child. Let me look at you. Oh, you are crying in one eye. I think it is a little bit of grit. Oh. Now keep very still and I will get it out. moment that you were perhaps still closed. Oh, yeah. for, for the German army, we never close, particularly an hero of the Russian front. Oh. <laughs> so I have here the uniform for the colonel. He will be delighted. He is in the cellar. I will take it down to him. Oh, Lieutenant Groove, good morning. The colonel will be pleased to see you. René, it is. Michel wishes to speak with us in the back room. Do not move. <laughs> Michel, what are you doing here in broad daylight? I have bad news. Gather around. 
I have very little time, so listen very carefully. I shall say this only once. <laughs> Maria did not escape with us. We know that. What happened to her? We have information that in order to escape, she broke into the postal room of the prisoner of war camp. Once there, she disguised herself as a Red Cross parcel. <laughs> Unfortunately, she did not put on enough stamps. <laughs> so they have sent her back to Switzerland. <laughs> It's all perfectly logical, I suppose. The poor child. René, we must light a candle for her. Oh, of course. For Maria. <laughs> we must advertise for a new girl. I have more news. We have information that Hitler is preparing to invade England. We must be ready to carry out sabotage as soon as we receive the orders. What about the airmen? They will have to stay here. This operation has absolute priority. Where are they now? <laughs> London will be coming soon on the radio. We must hurry. <laughs> Oh, she sleeps. <laughs> she looks like a little angel. She looks more like a dead moth. <laughs> we must wake her very gently. Mama. 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 <laughs> wake up, you old bat. <laughs> oh. oh, no, no, no. You have awoken me from my dream. You are callous and artless, René. She was smiling so beautifully. Mm. Was it a nice dream, Mama? Well, it was uh, vivid <laughs> <laughs> and a bit uh, naughty. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Right. One, One, two, two three. three. Oh. oh, sorry, Mama. Where are you? Oh, oh, the fleshy note. <laughs> it has broken my dream. <laughs> what are you doing in the bed of my mother? When I climbed through the dream poop in the prisoner of war comp, I slopped and bonged my home. <laughs> Your mother allowed me to lay on her board <laughs> so I could have a bit of wrist. London is coming through on the radio. Shut up. <laughs> hello, hello, this is Night Oak. Come in, London. Over. Hello, Night Oak. London calling. London calling. I have them. I will now jam the London transmitter and broadcast myself. This is Night Oak. Come in, London. Hello, Nighthawk. We wish to send medals to all the members of the Resistance. Please give me their names and addresses. <laughs> we do not know their names and addresses, uh, but send me the medals and I will pass them on. Where are the airmen? In the back room. Where is the back room? Behind the front room. <laughs> he is asking a lot of questions. Yeah. Give it to me. Are you sure you are in London? Of course. I am in Piccadilly Circus. One small house, the effects. <laughs> Pepe! Pepe! <laughs> Read all about it. <laughs> Violets. Lovely violets. <laughs> violets. <laughs> Flick, I'm falling off the roof! <laughs> Flick! It is our Flick we have been discovered. Quick, dismantle everything. Position and now you have smashed the radio. We cannot speak to London. Very suitable. I agree. When can she start? <laughs> but Edie, she has to get down on her knees to, to clean the floors and, and climb the stairs to entertain the Germans. But I can get on my knees and I am able to entertain the Germans. <laughs> she is perfect. Well, yes, but. But we must see the others, Edith. Uh, we will let you know, Madame Sablon. 
Mademoiselle Angelique of Vitesse, 38, uh, 28. <laughs> <laughs> Next, please. <laughs> Colonel, General von Klinkerhofen is here. General von Klinkerhofen? General von Klinkerhofen. General von Klinkerhofen! <laughs> Heil Hitler! Heil Hitler! Sit! <laughs> Go away. Yes, General. The invasion of England is in preparation and will take place before the winter. My chateau is to be the operational center. All planning will be carried out there. Your area, Colonel, is consequently of vital importance. Security must be watertight. I understand here, General. There's your assistant. He volunteered for the Russian front. Good. <laughs> I intended to send you there anyway. <laughs> you ought to have a new assistant. I'm delighted to hear it, General. Mussolini has persuaded Herr Hitler that a small token force should join us in the invasion. We are, therefore, to have a liaison officer. It is not agreeable to me, but we must obey orders. In order to keep him out of my hair, I have placed him under your command. <laughs> Bring in Captain Berthelet. Bring in Captain Bertorelli! <laughs> Captain Bertorelli! <laughs> Mamma mia! The beautiful lady! I kiss your hand! Captain? Captain Bertorelli! Officers in the German army do not kiss the lady privates. <laughs> <laughs> what a mistake of a maker. General, please forgive me, but I am Italian. When I see the beautiful lady, my heart go boom, diddy boom. Diddy boom. <laughs> this is your commanding officer, Colonel von Schroem. Colonel, you have a kind of face. To you, I give a salute. Mm. <laughs> ah, it's a beautiful place you have here. I think I'd be very happy. This is my desk. Oh, this is my desk. <laughs> I forget. General, I have for you the special gift from Mussolini. It's the Italian War Hero Medal. Oh, the Italian War Hero Medal. I don't think I've seen this before. I think they're very rare. Uh... <laughs> you too have many medals. Me? I am a hero. This here for service in Abyssinia. This for service in North Africa. And the bottom row? They are for service in Fiat. René Atwa. My name is Mimi Labonk. <laughs> this is my wife, Edith. Mademoiselle Labonk. <laughs> this is Yvette, the other servant. René is very important to the resistance. You must guard him with your life. This is my bodyguard. <laughs> I will be the laughing stock of the old town. Show him. He will want his table in the back room. The airmen are in there. Well, get rid of them! Ah, Herr Flick, welcome to my humble cafe. Uh, uh, let me take from you your sinister leather coat. <laughs> we need this room. You must not be discovered. You must leave. Get out. 
I will just make sure that the room is uh, 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 prepared for you, Erflick. All is clear. Come in, Erflick. Come in, please. Sit down. Make yourself at home. <laughs> uh, Mimi, a menu and wine for Erflick and his bit of... St uh, um, <laughs> his lady friend. I have already prepared a bottle for the Gestapo. <laughs> uh, it is very stuffy in here. Uh, let me open a window for you. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> uh, good evening, officer. Uh, how comforting to know that you are doing your duty. Do not waste your torch. It is a dick night. <laughs> Very likely, yes. <laughs> I thought I saw two men leaking by your dustbin. <laughs> well, that is France for you. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Uh, uh, the police are patrolling the ground. <clears throat> ah, uh, Mimi, a wine for the Gestapo officer. <laughs> you are, sir. You will never drink a better bottle. I will do it. Of course, Eflick. <laughs> <laughs> when you speak in such a dominating fashion, I go weak at the knees. This is normal. <laughs> I wish you to know that it is a very special occasion. I have decided to marry you. I thought we were going to wait until after the war. These are dangerous times, Helga. We must grab every moment of happiness while we may. But, Eflick, you have always managed to grab it so far without getting married. <laughs> Mimi, you must not oversell our wine. It is only plonk. It was quite ridiculous to tell Eflick that he would never open a better bottle. It was the truth. I'll remove the cork from the bottle and put in a deadly poison. In four minutes, he will be no more. Mimi, not in my cafe. <laughs> Helga, may we be blessed with many little members of the master race. <laughs> it was not a good year. 